key to the future is finally unearthed. Bring it to me. Bom, então a gente está aqui no Rio de Janeiro e nós vamos conversar agora com o Diário Eleto, que está falando então sobre Blade Runner 2049. Hi, Diário. Hi, ok, I'm done. Oh, nice. Oh, well, uh, let's start from the beginning. Who is Neander Wallace? Neander Wallace is your worst goddamn nightmare. Wow. No, he's, uh, he's a, a very forward thinking technologist, a businessman. Yeah. Uh, one of the great thinkers, uh, thought leaders in the world. And uh, he has not only saved the world from starvation with his technology, yeah. but has reintroduced and refined the, 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 the technology that he acquired from the Tyrell Corporation. Every replicants. Was built off the back of a disposable workforce but I can only make so many. Shh. Happy birthday. We can say that he's the villain of the, this movie, yes? Is it correct? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think he's a pretty good guy. Oh, <laughs> it's your vision. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you are an actor known for go deeper into uh, each character. You, How much uh, Neander Wallace demanded from you? Every every part has its challenges. I mean, this one I was just so goddamn excited to be a part of this incredible group of actors and the, and, and and talented uh, creative people. Um, it was really fun. Yeah, it was really fun. It was exciting. Yeah, we we haven't seen the movie yet, but just some scenes. Uh, and, and this scene we, uh, we saw with you, you were alone in the room. Uh, can we ask, do you share some scenes with Ryan Gosling, Harrison Ford? Most of my scenes are with Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah. And How was the work with incredible. him? Incredible. Yeah. He's a legend. Uh, so for, for me, Blade Runner is Star Wars. It's, it's the most important film for me uh, when I was younger, the original one. Yeah. And just to, so to be in the midst of these iconic characters and their performances was like... And how was to be in touch with such a beloved movie like the original Blade Runner? It's rock and real. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? It's rock and real. Um, it was great. Yeah. Where, I mean, like, I can't even believe I'm in the movie. You know, I mean, it's like, yeah, but I'm going to take it. the goddamn poster home with me and put it, <laughs> I'm gonna put, bring it on a plane. It's incredible. You talk about Rock in Rio now, uh, you have a, such a, a richer career, such in the movies, but in the music also. Uh, how was to switch b between those different kind of arts? Well, I mean, music is a very important part of my life. You know, coming to play shows in, in Brazil has been a life-changing experience for us as a band. 30 Seconds to Mars. We have a connection with the Brazilian audience. It's like, you know, a beautiful, beautiful thing to be a part of. And a lot of love for the country. You know, you know a country that has its its own identity and its own sense of uh, powerful culture and music and food and uh, passion. You know, that's what I think about when I think about this country. So, you know, that's inspiring and it really... Uh, uh, the music is a huge, huge part of my life. Yeah. Well, but also you are an Academy Award winner for such a delicious role, such a rich role. Thank you. Dallas Buyer Club. But before that, you were known for uh, an actor for independent and uh, more alternative movies. And since then, you were being involved in much more blockbusters. Is it what you're into nowadays? No, I mean, I, 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 I think of this film as almost like an independent film. You yes. know, I, I don't think of it as like a big Hollywood blockbuster. I think of it as like a smart, passionate, uh, emotional, dramatic, sexy film. Um, that's how I think about it, you know. You do not know what pain is yet. You will learn. Bring it to me. 